learn to play the basic melody of Highland Cathedral in under 20 minutes. That's what we're gonna go through in this video. My name's Alec from Get Big Pipe Ready. If you um, really enjoy learning the basic melody and now you wanna learn the more technical version, just click on the link in the description below this video. Or if you wanna to jump to the more technical version with all the embellishments right off the bat, again, just click on the link below this video. I run a Highland Cathedral workshop and if you click on that link, you're gonna get the first lesson completely free and uh, at no risk, it's completely free and you get the first lesson with all the technique, all the embellishments. But for this video again, we're just going through the basic melody of Highland Cathedral, very little embellishments, because at the end of this video, I want you to feel like you can play a tune, Highland Cathedral, a very great tune, um, or at least you have all the, all the tools you need to, to be able to practice working on that. So without any further ado, I'll just play through the first part of Highland Cathedral with the embellishments, just so you know how that's gonna sound, and then we'll break it down into its parts and, and get you playing. So here's Highland Cathedral. So that's the first part of Highland Cathedral with embellishments and I'll just play that first phrase and we're going to tune it down to the basic melody um, and that first phrase goes like this. So that's the first phrase we're going to work on here so we're starting on low A. Our bottom hand is our right hand, it's on the chanter, low A, our bottom pinky of the bottom hand is up. Top hand is our left hand. <laughs> um, the, the, the three fingers on the top are on their holes. The, finger, the thumb on the back is on its hole for low A. The pinky on the top hand doesn't have a hole. So that's low A. If you're getting some squeaks and squawks, um, watch that you aren't playing with your fingertips. It's a lot harder to keep your fingers on the hole. We actually want our fingers quite flat so it's not our tip that's on the hole, it's more the kind of the flat, flatter spot here on our hand. Uh, so that's more the way our fingers are gonna work their action on those holes. So we're going from low A to D. Um, in that transition, our pinky finger comes down and the top three fingers of our bottom hand come up off the chanter. And rather than trying to hold your wrists really rigid and just move your fingers, notice how I, I do kind of move, rotate a little bit through my, through my forearm as I'm doing that. So the fingers are lifting off with a bit of help, almost like you twist a doorknob. <laughs> So this transition from D to E is a toughie if you haven't worked on it already. If you have, you know, maybe you've mastered it. Good for you. If not, you're going to get it. Um, it's just going to take a little while and some repetition. So from the D to E, these three fingers have to find their holes simultaneously while that E finger lifts up. And that E finger is the bottom finger of our top hand. While that's all going on, the uh, pinky finger on the bottom hand comes up off the hole. Again, that's that one that sounds kind of like an ambulance and it's, it's a good one to just pause the video and work on that transition a little bit. And assuming you have that, then we just have that simple walk up. We're at the E and we're walking up to F. So we're lifting that uh, that middle finger of the top hand. Sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'll just play that first phrase through so I get it right for you guys here. Okay. 
Okay, so we got the E, we're going up to F, and then we're just walking down where we came. So we're just walking down um, from that F. So we're really going from the D to the E to the F, and then we're just doing the opposite. We're just walking down back to E, that tough transition back to D, and then dropping down to low A. And that's the first little mini phase of Highland Cathedral. And I'll play that and tack on the next phase. So that's the next phase of Highland Cathedral. Uh, in this next phase, is, it's very similar. We're, we're working with a lot of the same notes. So that's that first phase. Here comes the second one again. We just jump straight up to the D. Again, that tough transition, D to E. And earlier I played the grace note, but I actually prefer that strike first um, in, in this easy melody. You could do either. It's not a big difference. We're just getting the, the main melody here. But I like the strike, and then it's going to follow up with the grace note. So what is a strike? It's when a finger goes down, covers the hole, and comes up again. So that's an F strike because we're on F. We've, gone that, we've done that note once before in this tune. Uh, so we're, we're on F, we're going down and up with our middle finger there. And then we're going to do a grace note. So the strike we do first, middle finger down, cover the hole, come up again. The grace note, the top finger is going off the hole and coming back again rather quickly. Sorry, strike then grace, no. <laughs> and that's the next little phrase. We're just, it's, it's just very much like the scale where we're going up to G, high G. The thumb is on the back. All the other fingers on the top hand are off. Our bottom hand during all these top hand notes just keeps the same position, that low A position that we talked about before. So we were on the F. We do our strike, we do our grace note, now we're gonna walk up to G, walk up to A, high A, top two fingers are off, thumb on the back is off. So we're at high A, we're just going right back to G, so that thumb comes back on the its hole, and the, the ring finger of your top hand comes off its hole, we go down to F. And we just walk all the way down the scale to that D. So we have that tough transition from, we've gone the easy transition from F to E, then the toughy from E to D. We go that tough transition down from E to D, and then we just go right back up to E again. We've gone from E up to F again, and now we're gonna go down to low A. So I'll just kind of play that, that, that next phrase that we kind of chunked down. I'll play it through a little bit here. So 
that's that's a good chunk of the tune right there already and now just something a little different if I sneak in a little bit of embellishment here something a little bit different we can do when we're going from that F down to low A we can add in just a little bit of flavor to that it adds a little bit more to the sound if we hit the low G first and then come up to low A so when we hit the low G first we're um, you know that we're doing the same thing as when we go to low A with the top hand these bottom two fingers of our top hand just go back to their holes uh, but on the bottom hand um, we're gonna at the same time bring the pinky down on its hole and then lift it up so that's we're going from F to low G and then from low G up to A and you don't have to do it that way but I think it adds a little bit more flavor and I'll play it that way this time through and you can uh, decide for yourself if it's if it's worth working on um, and I'll also tack on the next phase here So as you heard, I tacked on the next phrase here and we hit a note we haven't done yet in this tune. We hit the B. So from that low A we ended off on, we're going to go up to B. So we're just lifting up the ring finger. From B we're going to C. If you haven't done that transition before, our pinky finger comes back down to cover its hole and our middle finger is up so both of the middle fingers of the bottom hand are up off the chanter both outside fingers of the bottom hand are down up to d we're just going to lift up that top finger of the bottom hand and then we're going to do a grace note a g grace note and we've done that once before in this tune so let me just kind of play that together for you From there, we from that D D grace or sorry G grace note on the D note, we drop down to low A again. I'll play that again for you. So we've done that first little phrase B to C to D back down to low or sorry grace note on the D and then back down to low A and then we we've done that kind of walk up jump down to low A we're going to do that walk up again but instead of starting on the B we're going to go straight to C from low A um, so that's so that's a little bit, little bit easier. We're skipping that B, which can feel a bit awkward, especially <laughs> when you're starting out on the chanter. But it will improve with repetition. You're going to get it. <laughs> now we've played the high A once before in this tune, but this time we're transitioning right up to the high A from the D. We haven't done that transition yet. Again, any of these transitions from the D up to really any note on the top hand is worthwhile to just take a moment and work on that repetition. Um, so from the D to the top hand, uh, the, the top three fingers of your bottom hand are always going to hit those holes. Um, and it's just a matter of what note you're going to on the top hand. For high A we know the top two fingers are lifting off and the thumbs lifting off the back.
So, squeaking in just a little bit of embellishment here, you can just drop down to the F and hold it there. Um, but I kind of like this, you know, catch the high G a little bit from, from the high A. So we're at the high A, we've gone up from the high A from our D. So we're just catching a, a, a G doubling really is what it is, but we're just catching a little bit of that high G. After we've kind of tagged the F, so high A down to F, F we've played before in this tune. Um, I, I think at least, if not, we're going to do it now. <laughs> so thumb on the back and uh, top finger of the bottom of the top hand, sorry, on the hole. That's our F. So that's what we're working on there. So we're at the high A. We're going down to F, up to G. So that's kind of a, a bit of a G doubling or, you know, we're just catching a little bit of that F before we're going to the G. And then we're doing an F doubling, which is like two quick grace notes in a row. We've already done a grace note. Um, so it's just two of those. So really we're doing you know, three things there in, in kind of a right, right all to get grouped all together. We're, we're uh, doing that, that uh, high F up to G, that little bit of a G doubling. And then the F doubling. So that's what we're doing where, and played together it sounds quite nice. So that's what we're doing there. I think it's worth practicing on if, if it's causing too much strain you can just go straight down to the F and hold it there a bit longer. but. But it's definitely worth working on because it can really dress up, dress up the tune. So I'll play this 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 phrase we've been working on in a little bit of context, so for you to hear it, and then we'll add in the next the next part here. So we're at the F, we've done our fancy little bit of embellishment there where we've done the... And then we're just going to drop down to E. So we're just bringing the, the next finger down on the top hand. And then we walk up to high G again. And then we go back to the F. And then we're transitioning. This is, we got lots of practice with transitioning from top hand to D in this tune, which is going to cause you a lot of stress, but it's also going to get that transition figured out for your fingers. So we've done a lot of E to D. This is the first time I think we're doing F to D. But the bottom hand is doing the same thing as we mentioned before. Um, and and the, the top hand here, now instead of the, from the E, one finger has to find the hole. Now two fingers have to find the hole as, as those two fingers come down. Drop down to low A from D. We've done that before in this tune. right back up to D again from low A, and then that transition, again a toughie, but one we've been practicing in this tune, up to E. And then right back down to D, so we get that transition in yet again once more, and then we're just doing our D strike. So that's the end of the tune. So you've got all the pieces. Let me just play that ending bit a little bit for you, and then I'll I'll play the whole thing as well. So 
So let me just run through, run through that for you so you have it in your head. I'll play it without the embellishments, just the way we've been practicing. And then I'll, after that, I'll tack on a version with the embellishments, just again so you can hear the difference. And again, if you're, uh, if you're practicing it, you're getting the basic melody, and you say, gosh, gosh, OG, I really want to play a fancier version and get those embellishments. Again, just click on the description below this video. You'll find a link there. And I'll send you the first lesson of my Highland Cathedral workshop completely free. As a bonus, you get my three-step guide to become a better, uh, you know, become a better bagpipe player, to get bagpipe ready, which is what I'm all about. Again, this is Alec from Get Bagpipe Ready. I'll just play these again without embellishments first and then with. So you have both versions uh, to compare. And also you just either way, you're getting that melody into your head, which is going to help your fingers learn it. So here we are. So there you have it. That's how the cathedral. Keep working on it. You're going to get that basic melody yet. And if you want more, uh, as you could tell when I did the embellishment version, not only did I do the first part of Highland Cathedral, I also did the second part of Highland Cathedral. And I go over all of that in my Highland Cathedral workshop. And I go over note by note instruction, just like I did in this video, but only with all those embellishments in place as well. So again, if you want that full workshop, uh, you know, if you just want to try out that first lesson, click on the description below this video. You can get that first lesson completely free. And also you'll get my free guide, three-step method to uh, get bagpipe ready. Thanks so much for listening. Good luck playing. And you're definitely going to get this tune. And it's a classic. Uh, it's a great melody, a great fun way to get your fingers to know the holes on the chanter. Thanks so much for listening. See you next time.